we will study the the diode concepts so if you take a so assume that you don't know anything about the diode so so start with we, we will have some symbol so symbol inside uh, this diode or what or how to manufacture this or what is inside in this diode so let's forget about in everything just remember that there is a some element is there and we will uh, have some operations so it's easy to remember those operations if already you know something about this it's very good but if you don't have anything just assume that diode is a two terminal device two terminal device or uh, generally we say an element so two terminal means it will have two so generally why the name comes diode is it will have two terminals that is one is anode and an, another is cathode so so there is a two terminals so that's why it is a called di element so it's a called diode right so sim we will assume two possible conditions so there is an ideal characteristics for this diode so we will start with this ideal characteristics then slowly we will end with the practical diode characteristics so for that reason <coughs> so what i will do is so we will see first diode applications so where we will use why we will use all these things we will discuss first so what are these diode applications so simply it can act as a switch it can acts as a switch this is the main element or main applications so depending on this only every application will come so another application is a simply a rectifier next one is a clipping or clippers next one clampers etc so it, it it the diode will be used in a, some protection circuits also so protection in the sense it will not allow after some currents or it will uh, oppose some currents protection circuits how in this circuits we will use as a this diode right so now we will see how the operation of the diode so operation is so we will start with the ideal one so this is a diode symbol generally anode means remember that it is a positive terminal cathode means it is a negative terminal so why the name comes and what happens inside this uh, p type and type semiconductors that we'll see later and so to read or to study these applications that is not required so only we need some operation so i am considering some ideal diode so ideal diode means so whenever there is a two terminals so we are assuming two voltage levels so this is anode voltage va cathode voltage vk now when the current flows so that is the first condition whenever va is greater than vk that means the diode is forward bias so what is a forward bias means the moment when we give some anode voltage greater than the cathode voltage simply it will behave as a some short circuit to allow the current flow i so it is like this so up to this so if you think like that in your home so 230 volt is coming into your home but when you switch off the uh power what will happen so the light whenever there is a light is there or fan it will it will not on so the moment a switch is closed that means when you apply some force so that switch will be closed and current will pass and the light will glow in a similar way in a similar way when you apply a potential or when you apply some energy to on this diode so here it is not a physical force or physical energy here it is in the form of electrical energy the moment when we give some energy and that energy is should be given for this anode greater than the cathode voltage then only the switch will be closed then current flows so i is flowing 
so this is the sum we can say equivalent model of a diode ideal diode we cannot say practical it is a ideal diode equivalent model of a ideal diode in forward bias or when it is on so again i am explaining whenever va is greater than vk when you apply some potential which is at the anode voltage is greater than the cathode voltage the current flows how much current flows that we'll see later now this is the first condition second condition is whenever we apply a potential that is anode voltage suppose is less than the cathode voltage so the diode will be off or the diode is in reverse bias so reverse bias means there is no current flows so current is not flowing means it is simply open circuit so this is open circuit so what is the meaning of open circuit we need to apply a anode voltage which is less than the cathode voltage so that means that is we are opening the switch that means with the, the moment we open the switch there is no current flow right now so this is two conditions in practical so i am i'm giving summary so what is this summary is for ideal diode for ideal diode whenever va is greater than vk so diode is forward bias so what is the equivalent model it is simply a short circuit right now whenever va is less than vk so diode is in reverse bias mode it is simply open circuit this is short circuit this is open circuit now if you draw the iv characteristics so this is i and this is v right so generally for ideal diode the moment when v is greater than 0 so the current start flowing whenever v is less than 0 there is no current flows so this is the ideal diode characteristics so so whenever v is greater than 0 so it is in forward bias whenever there is no current flows there is zero current it is in reverse bias so from this characteristics what we can uh, conclude is that means vk should be given to zero volt then only we can say va is greater than zero so diode is forward bias whenever va is less than zero diode is reverse bias so that means there is no current flows at all now in the next next lecture we will see for ideal diode what are these conditions right